Greetings. Another 10 days has passed and 390 now one 391 days. No carbs. All time except what's in the coffee beans. Uh, so go so yesterday. I was uh Yesterday. Uh, the day before yesterday, 76.7 kilos, uh, heart rate 78, blood pressure 110 over 75, whereas the previous one was 78.8 and 117 over 84, 76. Okay, so the blood heart rate's about the same. We've lost 2.1 kilo and the blood pressure is actually in both yeah, 117 to 110, 84 to 78. Uh, yes, I do not have to worry about high blood pressure, do I? Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a long long 10 days because I've been watching lots of, lots of videos about uh, well, human nutrition and uh, physiology. Um, so, carbs are sugars are anything ending in OS, OSA and including cellulose which is undigestible and all those other ones have got all on the end like tocopherol mixed bag of uh, necessary and unnecessary uh, molecules so there is there is a uh, there is a goodness to be had in, to be found in various plants and uh, one must look at the minimum effective dose with those things otherwise you're uh, getting a other minimum effective dose of something like uh, hmm, cyanide, for example, from almonds. Okay. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head because it's like three o'clock in the morning. I was asleep. I woke up. I thought, yeah, I might... Uh, might do this. Oh, what have we got here? What have we got here? This is my old notes on 73 reasons to be vegan, vogon, etc. Number five, cow's milk is kind of gross. Uh, this is uh, this was written by adults, by the way. Cow's milk is kind of gross. Uh, yeah, adults. Well, in that case, not only cattle, horse, donkey, yak. Buffalo, goat, sheep, and camel, and reindeer's milk is also kind of gross, isn't it? Because we eat all of those as well on location. Number six, your skin will look amazing. Amazing. Your skin will look amazing. Uh, 
before or after it's been tanned? I don't know. Oh, number seven, fiber. Spell P R. I'm not too sure why they do that. It's been F I B R for as long as I can remember. And is your and I quote body's bitch. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I have no idea. It's um, it's not non-standard English. It's a colloquialism. And it's definitely uh, a limited, limited period of existence colloquialism. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. But dietary fiber, dietary fiber, which means any, any cellulose that you might have eaten, like you know, in your celery stick or something, unless you like a bit of sawdust in your uh, soup. Uh, Yes, right, dietary fiber, yeah, cellulose. And we do not have the necessary microbiome to digest cellulose, nor do we have a big long cecum to digest it in, like apes do, or, you know, that four, fourfold stomach, like, like uh, well, herbivores do. Mm, yeah, I mean our cecum is about that big, that big because we don't use it anymore. It's just the leftover from back before paraanthropes when we used to eat vegetable matter. Yeah, yeah, yes. What what happens when you eat that stuff? Well, it makes you feel feel like you've filled your gizzard with something, not necessarily food, but you know, you're not going to eat more, so you can't get fat, can you? You'll lose weight. Oh no. Or um, yes, yes, but you leave it in there. It goes you know, in one end and out the other, eventually uh, scrapes its way through and can cause once it bulks up a bit inside, diverticulosis, which is a wonderful thing to have. It's so good for you. Diverticulosis is when your uh, your innards start trying to pop outwards inside. You know, little 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 oops, little oops. That's really good for the intestinal tract. Perfect stuff. Probably makes you bleed as well. Okay, well, it's so many now. Dairy doesn't do a body good. Well, I don't know if you're lactose intolerant. But you can be like the, the Yakut and just sort of like, oh, we got some milk here, we'll just turn it into yogurt or kefir or something. And the uh, fermentation will get rid of the sugar, the lactose, yes, and then you won't be lactose intolerant, will you? No. It's all the protein and fat, you know. Good stuff, plus whatever else is in there. All of which is fit for consumption. Whatever little baby animals were eating it, it wasn't poisoning them. Yeah, what else have we got here? Healthy. Healthy. Healthy fats come from nuts, seeds, and avocados. Healthy fats. Healthy fats from nuts, 
nuts, seeds. Well, seeds don't actually have fats in them, they have oils. The same way. Uh, seed oil, yes, that is amazing stuff. Uh, just, it's like the, the worst possible thing you can put inside you. Slow dose poison and just make you ill and more ill, and you die from a mysterious illness that the doctors can't do anything about. They pop you full of pills and stuff, but you'll still die. Nuts, nuts, well, yes, yes, almonds. Lovely stuff. Cashews. Oh, great stuff. Peanuts. Peanuts. What we know about. Aflatoxins. If nothing else. If they've got nothing else inside them, like cyanide, they've got aflatoxins on the outside, which are also pretty gross. Gross, perhaps? Yes. They certainly do gross things to people that eat them. Like anaphylactic shock and death. Uh, number 23, we're running out of water. We're running out of water. Well, we're not running out of water here at the moment. Plenty laying around in the street outside. Uh, we're running out of water. This this is a, a sort of a an inside inside out way of saying that livestock drink water. Well, so do soybeans and rice. Everything drinks water. As for running out of water, well, you know, if you stopped flushing it down the toilet all the time, every time, or uh, didn't have the tap turned on full bore for five minutes longer than you need to, eh, yeah, we're running out of water. No, we're, we're not running out of water. It's It's same amount of water that we've always had if not more because you know, it keeps popping up out of the ground i've seen it happen i've been to places where there's water coming out of the ground you know like and not just like drip 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 it's like well like in bosnia bosnia um you know thousands of liters a minute Coming out of a cave. It eventually ends up in the Adriatic, but certainly not running out of it. It's just the distribution is a bit of a problem. Okay, we're coming up to uh, almost a quarter of an hour. That's enough for me. I am well. I am well. Everything is good. We got muscles. See that. Not a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I just thought I'd do that one. And uh, I'll not bother you again for another 10 days when it's 400 days without carbs. Okay. Ciao for now.